The Baltimore Ravens against the Kansas City Chiefs ended the day with over 5 yards rushing. Despite that, they only ran the ball 11 times and threw the ball 57 times. This is a team that's sort of built around their running game, or at least that's a big part of what they do. And the Kansas City Chiefs are built around their pass defense. So this seems on paper like a baffling decision by Baltimore, but it's a decision I actually agree with. So let's talk about why a decision that seemingly makes zero sense on paper actually might have been the correct decision, even if it didn't work out. First, the play you see on the screen. This is kind of the big play that everyone is going to be talking about, where it's a, you know, a single safety deep coverage. So the Chiefs are ready for the run. But despite that, Lamar is going to hand the ball off to Gus Edwards. It's really well blocked, and Gus Edwards picks up 15 yards on that play. Okay, really good stuff, and they were able to get a touchdown on the very next play, throwing the football. So, you know, okay. Look at that, and you say, well, hey, you know, running game working. However, I want to rewind a little bit. Let's start off with literally the first play of the game right here. So in this situation, again, Kansas City is prepared for a potential handoff. You're going to see Lamar gives the ball to Justice Hill. Nowhere for Hill to run with the football. Whatever running back you have there, not going to gain many yards on that play. This was happening basically every single other time that the Ravens were uh, handing the ball off. So despite the fact that, yes, the overall numbers were good, there's a couple of things to note. The first thing is there were some Lamar Jackson scrambles that, you know, uh, make the numbers look a little better. The Lamar Jackson scrambles were working in this game, and that's actually, I think, a fair criticism is Lamar probably should have scrambled a little bit more in this one. This right here, these are every single designed handoff on this play or designed quarterback run. So quarterback run or design handoff. They gained one yard, zero yards. There is a 21 yard fourth down situation, which you almost have to put an asterisk on that, right? Because it was, you know, a unique coverage that the Chiefs weren't playing every single snap that they were playing for that specific situation. The 15-yard run, which I mentioned, and then a 2-yard run, a 5-yard Lamar Jackson run, in which he broke a tackle at the uh, line of scrimmage to then pick up 5 yards, and then 1, 1, and 3 yards. Meaning that the Ravens only had one other play where they handed the ball off to a halfback and gained uh, you know, more than 2 yards, and that one they only gained 3. It was the 15-yard run, and that was it. And also going over here to literally the second play. So first play only gets you a yard. Not ideal. Well, okay. But the nice thing is maybe that can help set up play action, right? Well, no. Watch how when Lamar takes the snap, the Chiefs have this completely well covered. Lamar has to scramble and try and pick up some yards that way. And again, that wasn't included in the chart I just showed you because that was not a designed quarterback run. So to me, this is kind of why the Ravens eventually said, you know, this isn't really working. Like this play, it's going to be Drew Tranquil. I mean, you got to give credit to Kansas City, right? Because, you know, the Ravens are a little bit different sometimes. Sometimes it's not about offensive line and defensive line with them. It's more about linebackers. Can the linebackers meet the receivers or, excuse me, meet the running backs in the holes? Uh, which is, you know, the case all, always. But I think with the Ravens running scheme, linebackers matter more. We know the Chiefs have, you know, good players over the middle, whether it's safeties or linebackers. And watch Tranquil will come in. He's going to make an immediate tackle on this third down and one. And they get the stop there. You know, the Ravens went for it on fourth and got it. But still, the running game, you know, part of why they abandoned it was because the running game was not successfully working. It wasn't working. I think that's, that's fair to say. Now, we can still argue, should you abandon it or not? But to me, this sequence is actually one of the bigger reasons why they decided to do it. So this is, you know, uh, coming out of, the, you know, going into the uh, second half, it seemed like the Ravens, I think a lot of people were saying, Ravens just got to get back to running the ball. They got to run the ball. This is what we thought they were going to do early on. Uh, you know, uh, they, not that they weren't running the ball in the first half at all, but definitely they were throwing it a little bit more. It is worth mentioning that, you know, they were going three and out a lot or, you know, not uh, putting the ball very quickly a lot or turning the ball over very quickly a lot early on in some of these drives. So because of that, you know, they didn't have a ton of snaps in general at this point. But on this one here, you're going to see Lamar hands the football off and it's a safety who comes in, Justin Reed, who was he was lined up deep on this play. So this is a situation where the Chiefs are defending the pass here. They're not defending the run. They're making an effort to defend the pass and they're still coming in and being able to stop the run on this play. So, okay, you know, one play doesn't work, whatever. It's one play, we're the Ravens, we're trying to establish the run, let's establish the run. So that would bring up a second down and 10, and, and they're thinking, you know what, maybe let's try a different kind of running concept. Instead of just running up the middle, we're the Ravens, right? We don't just run up the middle every play, we run in different directions. Let's try something like this, maybe a, a handoff to Zay Flowers. 
Well, Lamar gives it to Zay Flowers, and it works okay, right? Flowers doesn't nice move, but it, you're only getting th- three or four yards on that play, uh, and it was three yards was the total, and now you have a third down and seven situation, and you're putting your team in a, a spot where basically you now only have one chance to come through. You know, you're only giving Lamar one shot on this play. The Ravens did not come through. They ended up punting the ball away. And I think, it, it, to me, there was a definitive point where after that drive, they just stopped running the football. They just said, okay, you know what? We're going to throw the football. That's why. Now, how did it work, right? Well, as we know, it didn't work out very well, right? Well, actually, if you look at this, so this is the yards per drive for each drive. So how many yards they got on each drive. So first drive, uh, three then they had a 75-yard drive set up by a long Lamar run and then a long uh, Zay Flowers touchdown. And then 11 yards, 19 yards, 6 yards, and 4 yards. So in the 4 yards, that was the uh, the last play I showed you. So I guess it was 4 yards that Zay Flowers uh, picked up there at the end there. So that was what they had. After that drive where they just straight up weren't running the football, they got 39 yards, 55 yards, 74 yards, and 28 yards, or excuse me, 29 yards. So that's a pretty sizable jump from what they were doing. If you look at yards per drive, they averaged uh, 19.7 yards per drive before that moment when they decided to abandon the run. And then they had 49.3 yards per drive once they abandoned the run. To me, Giving Lamar the ball more frequently was the correct decision. That's what worked out. We always love to blame coaches for stuff, but the running game wasn't working. And the passing game, whether it was scrambling or finding other stuff, getting those big chunk plays, they were getting the ball down the field. The issue was the mistakes that, you know, they threw, uh, you know, in that uh, section, the way it went is there was four drives where they had uh, you know, a long drive that ended in a punt where they were kind of on the outside of field goal range, and then Lamar took a sack. They had the then long drive that there was the goal line fumble to Zay Flowers. There was then the long drive that ended in, in an interception uh, when Lamar threw in a triple coverage, and then they had the field goal drive on the you know final moment there. So all four drives, they beat themselves for sure, but it wasn't because they were you know throwing the ball too much and playing into the Kansas City Chiefs' strengths. It was the correct strategy. I think that they just made mistakes, right? I mean, if Zay Flowers scores a touchdown there, like if just if that happens, if he scores a touchdown instead of, you know, uh, fumbles at the goal line, we're probably looking at this situation saying that that decision was the correct decision. And especially if, you know, if Zay Flowers doesn't fumble and then they kick a field goal instead of throwing in a triple coverage and, you know, going there, there's a chance they win the game. And it's entirely because the decision to, you know, uh, decide to abandon the run. So I'm, I'm, I'm with the Ravens. I think it was the right call. I think the players just didn't execute. Um, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.